Welcome again to another project that we are going to do together with you guys. So here we're going to start learning about Laravel framework. What is Laravel framework? Why it's so popular and why you need this. So uh, it's going to be slideshow here. This is going to be very simple if you want. Um, I'm just going to explain what Laravel is. If you know, just skip this lecture or eh, that will go for the entire course. If you know some things, you can always skip them and go to the main part that you are you feeling that you need to learn something extra. So, Laravel framework. So it's one of the best PHP framework uh, frameworks out there. There are a lot, and um, this is most widely used, and it's very good because it's updated frequently. Uh, you, you're gonna have if you start with one version, you're gonna have a lot of version at the end. And let's start just explaining why Laravel framework is so popular. So there, I'm gonna list a couple of like 13, 14 advantages. So that's why I say 10 plus advantages. If in future I want to add something, I will add it here. So the first thing that Laravel comes with authentication and authorization system. So we can before in P, we, it, with the native PHP or when we're building application. We are dealing and wasting too much time with login and registration and how to start a session for those users now cookies or whatever it is so now that is all done it's it's there just we need to implement it so in previous P, uh, Laravel versions it was a little bit different now in this one it will be a little bit more tricky to install it but it's gonna take like in two three minutes so the next part is security this framework is very good to prevent SQL injection. It comes with cross-site request forgery and cross-site scripting. So it's super safe to use it, right? So, and we will build application very safe and secure. Now, the next part is automa uh, automation of testing work. So if you're been in university or been in any, for example, um, work, if you are a developer, you have done probably unit testing in here this one comes with unit testing so we might not do it in the project but I will explain in future or here in the introduction uh, not in this lecture I will explain what is about so unit testing you will see how you can build simple tests so you can see if your site is passing all of the bugs and how it's performing right now Another advantage is that we can create URL routes and here I can say that Laravel is MVC framework so so for those who don't know what MVC framework is M start for models V for views and C for controllers so here I've just created one simple like um, graphical representation now um, we will learn all of these segments each individually and how the models controllers view routes all communicate together and create this layout so Laravel is an MVC framework meaning you can change something in the design or the code without without disturbing any other parts of the application right so that is because it's separating the business logic code from the presentation code and now the controller acts like a middleman views gonna be see that in the top there is a computer that will be the HTML or graphical representation of, of our site so we're gonna create a routes there for example index page or whatever page we are gonna create we need to name those routes and put that inside the controllers and obviously models will communicate with controllers and will pull out data from the database but we're gonna explain this one you don't need to worry too much now because I'm going to explain in simple words and we will do a lot of examples in working before starting the real project and you will not have any problems creating routes, naming routes, use them in the controller or passing variables to have used and how models also will interact with the database, right? So that's very easy. Now another advantage is that there are scheduling tasks before we had a we have to write our Chrome jobs for our all, all for our all, older application. Now you have this Laravel command schedule. 
so you can schedule more things inside there um, another advantage is the caching cache drivers helps a lot of application to handle the request and that's very awesome because our uh, the applications we're gonna build it will be super fast and that's what you want you don't want a slow application where you are spending too much time and handling the request now also number eight is template tool Laravel has a pre-installed powerful and lightweight template engine so we can build simple layouts very fast you will see all of this in next coming lecture right and also their mail services comes with a driver for mail guns mail drill spark post php mail and amazon ses and a lot of things to so do it's uh, compatible with in use all of those drivers so you can if you are familiar with something you can go for it now another thing another awesome feature is artisan tool and that's a command line so this is help us to interact with application and we can create skeleton codes there we can create new users, we can uh, create objects, apply things, save it to database and manage the migrations. So migrations you probably don't know if you haven't, if you're watching this part, you probably don't know about database and migrations. And Laravel is doing a very awesome job and it's very simple and so it, it has easy database migration. Uh, so we can do version controlling there, allowing team to easily modify and share the application database schema so that's a blueprint or skeleton there and you will see maybe this sounds like not too much um, um, or maybe more advanced but it's not actually and also there are a lot of object oriented libraries one of the most important uh, most important or known is authentication library it comes with cross-site request forgery protection active user checker encryption password reset bycrypt hashing so everything this is done for us we don't need to hash the password anymore just we, we can just use uh, some of the methods there and we are done so authentication is very easy in Laravel um, blade templating engine we will use blade syntax a lot and blade is actually will not restrict us for using PHP code inside our views so we will be able to save ourselves self from PHP and HTML spaghetti code uh, because we can get carried away by coding a lot of things and uh, this blade templating will make our life easy and also that adds zero overhead to our application and and I think after version 5.5 Laravel there was a um, new feature called automation package discovery and this feature was used and it's still used uh, for when we are installing new packages as we were in installing them they will be auto loaded and auto discovered by the service provider so we don't need to put um, to put the package name into the service and also list them in inside the providers so we're not gonna do that and that's super easy simple and when we install we're gonna see in the composer that there are uh, it's saying that it's been auto discovered so that's a very nice feature next so there are a lot more things we we can and we will cover but not now because this is only a PowerPoint presentation and I don't want to bother you with this um, so thank you for watching and another thing that I want to just make clear I don't include a lot of exercise um, not exercise actually I don't include uh, quizzes here in my courses the reason is that I can include quizzes with four or five ten questions it's not gonna change for you what is gonna change the way we are uh, working with uh, uh, on our projects and that is what you need to learn um, uh, because working on a project on real project or whatever it is you're gonna learn a lot more than asking you questions and that you answer the, those questions so that's my view doesn't have to be always true but I think I was learning that way and you will do it you will be able to learn a lot more than um, creating the quizzes so that is something that some of the students brought into my attention the second thing is that they were thinking that I do things um, like um, for example I don't have any plan before so no the courses that I do are already created 
but I add more features in order to make them interesting. And I make mistakes and I code them again with you. I just it's easy for me if I read if I read on the next screen next to me and I just set it very fast. So you're not going to be able to learn it. But if I code it, I will make mistakes somewhere and you will see those mistakes and you will not make them those mistakes. So that's my style. And another thing, if you don't like my voice, I'm sorry. Even I don't like my voice, but I'm not going to be able to change it from now on. For example, this is the way I speak. I don't like it. And personally, I don't know if a person likes the way he, um, you know, when he hears his speaking, he doesn't like it. For that's that's me. But I will not be able to change it. If you think that this is a deal breaker for you, that I don't include quizzes so far. Maybe in future I will. And if I do, um, if I, if you don't like my voice, please you can always uh, get your money back and uh, continue working on other projects that, that will help you in future to learn a lot new things in web development or how to become a full stack developer in future right so that's my um, that's what I want to say and pretty much I'm done with this part now I will see you in the next lecture where we start working with uh, our tools that we need to have before starting Laravel and after that we will start Laravel thank you very much and see you next time